Hi, I'm Steve Wiley. I'm here at the E2 conference in Santa Clara, and I'm joined by Rich Carpenter, Carpenter who is Chief Technology Strategist with GE Intelligent Platforms. Rich, welcome. Thanks. Appreciate that. So Rich, you just wrapped up your keynote talk, and you're from GE Intelligent Platforms. Of course, we're all very familiar with GE. Right. Less so with uh, Intelligent Platforms. Maybe you could start off by just telling us a little, little bit about what you do in that division. Sure, GE Intelligent Platforms is an organization that provides a series of platforms, both hardware and software for the industrial automation market space. So on the um, hardware side, we, we provide what is essentially an industrial computer called a PLC that's used to uh, really automate manufacturing and uh, industrial processes. On the software side, we're really providing the software that's monitoring the environment, providing visibility to the customers of a large facility, and then driving a series of analytics to help people get in insights and uh, do basic decision support to improve their operations. And Richard, your talk here this week at E2 focused around big data, right? Which sure. is an important topic here for us yeah. at the conference and something we're hearing much more about these days. Yeah. In your words, what's the key value proposition for big data? It, you know, it's uh, a way to get insights, not just at the individual piece of equipment, but really at the fleet and the ecosystem level. As we understand how our equipment is operating globally across the world, we can drive insights that help us improve each individual customer's operations. I think uh, one line that you said that really resonated with me was, being able to predict problems versus react to problems, right? Which yes. I think is a key piece as well. Yes, absolutely. I mean, we're trying to buy time because uh, when equipment fails and people have to react to it, then uh, it's much more costly to prepare and you may actually have serious damage to the equipment. So by being in a situation where we can identify the telltale signs of a failure, but prevent it before it occurs, we can actually plan periods of downtime, fix the equipment before anything serious happens. It's great, you know, being that we're here at the E2 conference, and companies are really trying to get up to speed on the latest trends that affect enterprise applications. Mm -hmm. uh, in your view, as you're out working with customers, are businesses equipped today to, to be able to sort of, you know, capture the, the value from big data, or are we still behind the learning curve there a little bit? I would say the more consumer internet companies are ahead of the industrial companies in being able to monetize and leverage the big data infrastructure. And I think what's changing that is that not just people are connected to the internet now, but equipment is being connected to the internet. And actually there's more equipment connected to the internet than people. That's driving the industrial side of this revolution where people are starting to take note and make use of that data. But I would say it's early in this uh, revolution. No question. What, what would be your, your key takeaway for our audience today from your talk? Um, key takeaway is uh, you, know, you hear a lot about big data, but it's actually real, it's a real challenge and there's real value for it. And for industrial businesses, I think it's well worth paying attention to and starting to incorporate that into the capabilities that you bring for your customers and for your own equipment. Great, thanks so much for your talk. Okay, you bet.